Hello, my name is Jorge Mira, the producer of the show. Today we have Aaron Motley. He is a certified holistic health consultant. Hello, Aaron. Hi, Jorge. Thanks nice for to have you me. back in our show. Thanks for having me. Great. Pleasure to be back. So, since the last time you were in our show, tell the viewers what you have been doing. Did you write another book? Actually, I'm in the process something? of uh, writing a couple of more books. One is on eye exercise, and uh, another one is more on like uh, sound vibration and that kind of thing. Um, so, that's what I've been up to. And also, uh, I've been advancing my practice and also starting to train folks with uh, the heart touch, which is a touch therapy thing that I do. HEART, the a acronym H-E-A-R-T stands for Holistic Energetics, Accuspiraling, Reiki, and Tapping. It's a multi-layered energy treatment that basically just moves energy dynamically on all levels and throughout the emotional, spiritual, and physical body. Interesting. Um, so what are we doing today? What are you doing today? Because actually I'm going to leave you alone while you're doing your magic. Okay. So what's the name of this dish? This dish is tabbouleh, which is a Mediterranean parsley salad. Um, I chose this dish because it's very dynamic and as a holistic health consultant, I'm always conscious of what food does in the body and um, how you know the different chemical constituents of each ingredient each ingredient impacts various organs and systems and so on so i chose this dish because it really cleans the blood it uh, strengthens the heart it um, is very vibrant healthy for the eyes and you know a number of things and then i'm going to be doing also um, guacamole because what we're going to do is cool. we're going to wind up putting all of this inside of a cabbage leaf. And I, I chose that because people have so much on their plate, literally, um, in the way of things to do. And they're always running and they don't have a lot of small dishes to put together. So I like finger dishes. I like things that you can put together, you know, taco shells and all this kind of stuff. Except since we're doing uh, the vegetarian slash vegan variety, we're going to be using the collard leaf to wrap the uh, final ingredients and uh, also um, I got some sprouts here and a number of things that I'll talk about and we put all that together and it'll Great. be delicious I promise. Uh, yeah I'm sure <laughs> and like you said um, you have chosen this dish because it's simple yes. delicious and we have chosen you to come again to our show because of that because you are you're like, like I told you before, you're like the Wikipedia, you know, <laughs> vegan Wikipedia. And, you know, every time you said, oh, about the onions, about the, mm -hmm. all these ingredients, you have mm -hmm. like, we, 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 have, we have to give like 10 minutes just for you to explain every single ingredient. But, you know, we don't have that much time. So yeah, I'll just give a little but, bit about each one. Perfect. OK, so I'm going to let you do your thing. And um, when, we, when you finish, I'll come and help you to set up for the guacamole. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds fantastic. Great. Thank you. It's Thank all you yours. so much. All right. Okay, everybody. Once again, here we go. First, I'm going to start chopping my parsley. As we can see, I already have an array of things already prepared. Um, I have tomatoes, which has lycopene, which is good for the reproductive system. It's better, uh, it, they say that you get more lycopene when you actually cook the tomatoes, but today we're going to be doing this raw, or at least the tomatoes raw. And then we have onions, which has sulfur, which is good for cleansing the blood, a number of other ingredients, uh, such as quercetin, which is good for the heart. We have a bit of cayenne mixed in with our coriander and our cumin nice spices which basically aid digestion and also are very dynamic in the way they move through the body. We have lime juice which is an astringent. And with the lime juice we want to add olive oil and have that nice chemical mixture that's going to help this these parsley to just wilt and give it a nice flavorful uh, look and feel. Then we have our bell pepper which has Silica, great for the connective tissue. Our joints are, are phenomenally necessary when it comes to movement. Our bodies cannot function well if we're stiff and our joints are locked. So the silica in our bell pepper facilitates that. And then, of course, we have our quinoa. Typically in the, uh, the Mediterranean style of this dish, of the Mediterranean style tabbouleh, they like to use bulgur wheat. 
I don't particularly care for the wheat, but I love quinoa because quinoa is a complete protein. Parsley is very dynamic because of the chlorophyll content. It also has ample amounts of vitamin A and vitamin C, good for helping the body utilize oxygen and iron. Also, good, great for the eyes. So if you're talking about having great eyesight, and also the chlorophyll content in here helps cleanse the blood. And we're talking about chlorophyll, we're also talking about having magnesium in ample amounts. Generally, when you talk about having, um, when, they, when, when folks are told that they need to strengthen their bones, they're told that they need calcium. Now, calcium is paired with magnesium when it comes to its utilization and how it uh, functions in the body. They're like sister nutrients. So when we ingest ample amounts of Green, green leafy vegetables, especially when you were talking parsley, we're talking quite a bit of magnesium, which is going to nourish the blood, strengthen and tone the bones, it's because it's going to help with our body's processing and use of calcium. Now, calcium is a very interesting nutrient because it actually buffers inflammation throughout the body. So instead of being inflamed, we can get our calcium in these nice green leafy vegetables that's going to strengthen and tone our bones and uh, keep us from having a lot of issues, a lot of joint pain, a lot of bone issues. Osteosporosis and so on is avoided and abated. So we want to make sure that we really get in our greens. And again, this dish is just awesome and vibrant just for that. I just love this. This is, this is actually one of my staples. I pretty much keep this at home and have it every week. I'm, I'm going to show you also how to make not only preparation easy, but also c consumption during the week. A lot of us are on the go. So what happens when you're running and you're running and running, you don't have time to prepare food. And even if you have time to prepare food, you don't have time to put it together to, to package it so that you can get out of the house and on your way and throughout your day. So a lot of us wind up going to McDonald's, going to places where we're buying food that really isn't nutritious and really doesn't serve our body well. Food is an acronym, fuels and oxygenates optimally daily. You need live food for that purpose, not processed food. Processed food basically saps our bodies of nutrients, causing inflammation, and all of these kinds of things that basically just debilitate the body. So we want to make sure that we're getting fresh, live, green foods on a consistent and regular basis. Last time I was here doing a food show with Jorge, and thanks to you again, Jorge, for having me back. I did um, cabbage salad and beet salad. The awesome beauty behind those were the fact that they were good for the heart and the brain. So this time we're talking about things that are good for digestion. We're talking about food that's good for the eyes. And always we're talking about things that are good for the bones and connective tissue. Now, if you notice, I have celery and carrots here. I also mentioned last time about plant signature. Plant signature is basically when you look at a plant, you can see from its characteristics what part of the body it impacts. Celery actually imparts a lot of nutrients to the, to the bones and the nerves. You have ribs, celery ribs. So you know, as soon as you hear that, we're talking about bones. Also, when you, when you break celery, just break this a little bit, you see these threads. And these threads are like our nerves. So we want to make sure that we're getting things that are good for our nerves as well as our bones. And that is really easy to do when we're eating fresh, vibrant foods. I'm going to add some salt here. It's probably about hmm, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to throw in my tomatoes, half a cup of tomatoes, half a cup of onions, get all of that goodness in there. I'm going to add my powder later. 
put in a lime juice. Our bell pepper, that good silica for our connective tissue. You want to stay, you want to keep your joints open so you can have mobility as you quote unquote age. So instead of aging, you actually mature. Me, I'm not old. <laughs> I'm not going to get old, but I am maturing every day. I'm getting wiser and I'm also getting more youthful because I eat vibrant food like this. And I suggest that you all do the same. This is very interesting subject. I've been noticing since I met you that you haven't aged and I met you a couple years ago. So what's your secret? I don't have a secret. Basically, I maintain my body optimally. And uh, again, I don't choose to get old. We don't have to choose to get old. We can age, we can mature, we can continue to grow, but we don't have to grow old. It's about maintaining the body, basically giving it what it needs because our body rebuilds itself on a regular basis. We just have to give it, you know, phenomenal ingredients for that purpose. Oh, great, great. So I see that you're almost done. Yes, with this dish, yes. Let me see, I gotta add in my olive oil. And my seasoning. Then I mix this all up. What's, and gonna... what's on that seasoning? It smells what, good. The seasoning again is uh, cumin, coriander, and a little bit of red pepper. So I'm going to toss the salad, let everything get mixed in real good. As you can see, it's becoming very colorful wow. and vibrant. Yeah, those colors are. And you can really smell the parsley as you know the salt begins to help it to break down and release a lot of its uh, constituents. I love parsley. A lot of times we see it sitting on the side of the plate as a garnish, but it really should be part of the main course. Yeah, it smells really good and I mean, it's like the rainbow here. Yeah, so, and that's our tabbouleh. So let's recap the ingredients in the, um, the amounts. Okay, we had three bunches. They were rather small, so I got three bunches from uh, our local produce market of fresh parsley. We had half a cup of tomatoes, half a cup of onions, four ounces, no, excuse me, three ounces of lime juice. We had our paprika, excuse me, we had our, wow. We had our cumin, our coriander, and our red peppers, red pepper, crushed red pepper, our cayenne. And then we had our red bell pepper, and we had our quinoa. So, and of course, a little bit of salt and olive oil, you know, to just bring everything together and to ignite the to flavors taste, in the palate. Yeah. So how, how much um, quinoa? Quinoa, was it like a me. cup maybe? Yes, it was, uh, it was about three quarters of a cup of quinoa. Oh, okay. Um, you, I mean, but I'm, I'm not so much a recipe chef as a taste chef. Mm. So a lot of times I'll add in a little more of this or a little less of that, depending upon the flavor and the, the, the nuance that I'm going for at a particular time and stuff. Um, like with, with the onions. Sometimes I'll chop the onion very fine if I just want them to meld in and have a subtle effect. And, and, and some people, they like a lot of onions. Some people, right. they don't. So they right. can adjust the amount of ingredients right. according exactly. to their personal exactly. taste. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And if good, you notice, good. if you see the uh, tabbouleh on the store shelf, quite often it'll be just it's, white it's, because it's mostly the bulgur wheat. Mm -hmm. I prefer parsley in my parsley salad. And I like to really see that it is a parsley salad. Plus, wheat doesn't really nourish us the way parsley does. Mm. So why put so much wheat when we can put, you know, an abundance of parsley and get abundance of nutrients, nutrients to really fuel our body and just keep us vibrant and youthful? Wheat actually ages us. Parsley keeps us young. Good, good. So I'm going to start eating tons of parsley from now on. Fantastic. Okay, great. So we're going to cut for a little um, public service announcement. And when we come back, we're going to do the guacamole yes, sir. salad. That's yeah. how you call it? Guacamole? I just call it guacamole. The guacamole period. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. 
Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Welcome back. We are ready for the second recipe. While the PSA announcement was playing, we were talking about cancer and cancer prevention. So what do you think about this um, service announcement? It's a wonderful service announcement. It got right to the point. Food is the answer, not chemicals, not foreign things from a laboratory, unless you want to consider the kitchen a laboratory and you're actually a food chemist, which is what a chef is, especially when you have a background in uh, you know, the chemistry of food, but of quote unquote phytochemicals. Cancer thrives in a body that's depleted of oxygen and filled with mucus, especially in the colon. The dish that we just made is perfect for brushing the lining of the colon and getting rid of mucus. And it's raw, it's fresh, it's live. And it's full of lots of oxygen. Fiber also. Fiber, yes. And that's what brushes the colon. Um, so fresh food is the answer to dealing with any type of issue, including cancer in the body. It gets rid of all of those uh, cells that are mutating. And it also, also uh, there are plants and their constituents within some of these ingredients that actually shuts off cancer cells. They're called, uh, I think, killer cells or something like that. But it shuts off the cancer. It stops it from growing. And then it just shrinks and leaves the body. So basically, you starve the cancer cells. Don't, yes. Don't feed yes. them. So. And also, um, since you mentioned oxygen, um, I did a, a piece with you over at Buddha B, where I ex talked about the breath mastery technique. That's right. And yeah. the more oxygen you get in your body, the less likely cancer is to, to even c show up, let alone thrive, because uh, it thrives in a, a, a low oxygen, carbon rich environment. Um, carbon dioxide rich environment. So when you get the carbon dioxide out, breathe fully, deeply into your lungs and express all of that and get more oxygen in, you don't have to worry about that at all. You don't have to worry about cancer. If you do have cancer, start breathing, start eating more green live food. So good. If you want to watch that episode, go to our YouTube channel HealthyUTVShow.com. Oh, you can get to that link through my website, um, oh, www.internalfitnesstrainer.com. Cool. You go to the video page, click on the video page, you will have a number of videos will pop up. The previous episode where I prepared the cabbage and the beet salad, oh, as well as really the uh, scenario where I shared the breath uh, exercise, the breath mastery technique with, with uh, cool, the audience. Cool, cool. So, what's the website again? www internalfitnesstrainer.com and also look out for my new website um, beautifulnakedlife.com my wife and I Trina who was on the episode um, filmed at the Green Festival we have a company called Beautiful Naked and the website is beautifulnakedlife.com because we want everybody to live the beautiful naked life great now we're going to prepare our guacamole okay good perfect so I'm going to leave you alone again so you can finish the second recipe. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. And here we go. We're going to start with our avocados. Avocados are really easy to work with. You just, like I said, slice it down the middle and go around the circle. Then we have to get this pit out. Avocado is a really awesome fruit. It has all of your good fats. You know, we have... Uh, Fat is, an, is essential for maintaining lubrication throughout the body and helping us function optimally. I'm going to add in our onions and our bell pepper. Plus, this is a very simple, simple recipe. And I like simplicity. We're going to add our salt. Probably about a, mm, somewhere between a quarter and a half a tablespoon, I mean, half a teaspoon. And then you can always adjust to taste. Once we add our salt to our main ingredients, I mean, to, excuse me, to our condiments, to allow them to begin to really wake up flavor-wise, 
We're gonna add in our avocados. This one looks kind of gnarly, so I'm gonna skip that little fuzzy part up top. As you can see, this is a not, you know, it's a rather quick dish. And again, back to the cancer, fresh green food. Avocado is interesting because we're not supposed to eat fruit with uh, other parts of the plant, i.e. the roots, the stalks, and so on. But avocado is one of those very vibrant fruits, actually, that we can eat with vegetables. So when we're combining them with uh, other things in salads, it's not a problem at all. This is really one of my favorite dishes because it's so versatile. Not only can it serve as the main dish, it can serve as a spread, it can serve as a snack, guacamole and chips. And then when we're doing, as we're doing here, it complements everything so well. Add in our lime juice. Now you can add in a number of other things to guacamole. A lot of folks like cilantro, especially uh, in the uh, Central and South American culture. I like cilantro, but in moderation. So it's a rare occasion you'll see me adding it into my guacamole. But once you get everything mixed together, the avocado really ignites the flavor of everything. And it's so creamy and rich and vibrant. Wow, that looks really good. That looks really good. It smells awesome and, also. Yeah, you can see that. Okay, we have the guacamole. Yes. We have the quinoa salad. I'm gonna uh, the chop. tabouli, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Same thing. Um, I'm gonna chop some celery and, car and carrots because we're gonna use some of that as, um, instead of chips, I like to use celery or carrot sticks to dip into the guacamole. So when I plate everything up, I'll have some of that on the side. And also we'll put some of that in the wrap. So I'm gonna chop some strips of carrots and celery now. Okay, so when we come back, we are going to assemble the yes the the taco yes or burrito whichever one you want well, to call burrito. it burrito yeah because yeah, we're gonna wrap yeah. it right that's the difference right the taco, the taco is, is open. smaller again yeah taco is open oh, and, no. and the burrito is closed the burrito is is, is wrapped and closed right? wrapped and closed yeah okay okay um okay cool we'll be right back oh hi we're back um. I was just uh, going through your book, and they have um, a few chapters, and it says here at the beginning that's uh, three books on one. So could you explain about your book, and then we can continue with our recipe? Yes. Um, the title is The Obesity Myth, You're Not Overweight, You're Overweight. As I said before, it's about keeping the body clean, and we focus on what's going on internally. And a lot of people really get caught up on weight, but Part of shifting our focus and our, and our awareness is focusing on the waste because when you get rid of the waste in the body, you begin to clear up all kinds of issues, diseases, and so on, and the weight just goes away. A lot of people say if you're 50 pounds overweight, you really get 50 pounds over waste. Mm, and you think about how much bad stuff can happen to you with 50 pounds of waste and toxins trapped in your body. So you eat wonderful food like this and you move things out. Also, as we talked about cancer, um, I wanted to give a bonus, so I brought three herbs. I call this a bitter powder that I make um, using three phenomenal herbs that we can talk about in a moment. Okay, great. Thank you. And I'm going to actually make this real quick. Um, if you have any questions, I can... Uh, well, should I just explain what, what these herbs are? Sure, go ahead, please. Okay, we have cloves, which people are generally very familiar with. This is a parasiticide, and basically it's an internal disinfectant. It cleans everything. We have oregano seeds. Everybody knows about oregano, but oregano seeds are very spicy. Try just one of those. Is, is it there? No. There you go. Yeah. Just one of these has a lot of oregano oil, which is very powerful. Wow. 
It's a parasiticide, and it basically just but annihilates it's disease. Strong, yeah. And we talked about the cancer earlier. This has those things that basically just kills cancer cells. And then I got uh, some aloe vera skin. When I uh, make my smoothie, I take the pulp out and I, I dry the skin, and then I use it to make this bitter powder that basically keeps everything healthy. Um, bitter functions with the liver and, and the, um, the gallbladder and, and the spleen, and it basically just helps those major filtrations or, or filtration organs get rid of heavy metals, toxins in the body, and also cancer. So that's why I do this bitter powder. And it's very simple. I add my three ingredients to my coffee grinder, and you can get coffee grinders almost everywhere. The hardware store, the drug store, the department store, you know, $14.99, $19.99. And just press, let it spin for a while. And then, you know, you dump it out and we have, you know, beautiful. This is, how, yeah, this how, is it, how it looks when it's how done. It looks when it's done. Try that. Yeah, let it. me try it. Mmm. Yeah. Intense, isn't it? Intense, yeah. But, yeah. but this is, you start feeling this sensation of mm -hmm. spreading throughout your mouth. And, yes, and, yes. I don't know, it's something that I never felt before. It's, and it goes throughout the body yeah, and, and it yeah. continues. So if you want to stay extremely healthy, that's one quick, simple recipe. Uh, as a holistic health consultant, I'm also an herbalist, you know, and uh, so I'm always, and herbs really are other food items, other vegetable material they just have stronger constituents that really deal with the body dynamic so to recap you have uh, cloves cloves um, oregano seeds oregano seeds and, and aloe, vera aloe vera skin, skin. dried skin. aloe vera skin the skin of the aloe vera has most of the volatile constituents that really helps to rebuild tissue mm -hmm. um, in world war ii before they came up with um, hydrocortisone they uh they had they only use aloe vera, they call it actually the wound hormone. Mm -hmm. It's been used on the battlefield and throughout to heal burns, cuts, wounds for centuries, way before even uh, ancient Egypt, where it was known as the miracle plant. Mm -hmm. And you add like a teaspoon on your morning green smooth, or you can just... No, this, I actually, I just put in my mouth a oh. pinch at a time. Oh, okay. Different times throughout, throughout the, day. the day. Okay. Yeah, and if you do it at night, it really gets the liver working, and you wake up, and you may have some little crust over the eyes. That's basically because the liver and, and the eyes basically coincide. Mm. So when you cleanse the liver, you wind up with sometimes some mucus in the eyes. Oh, okay, so yes. that's a sign that it's working. That's the sign oh, that it's cool. working, so, yes. So you're releasing all these toxins. Yes, oh, yes. Perfect. And one more quick tidbit before we assemble our dish. I spoke about, you know, folks on the run. I save condiment jars, mayonnaise, salsa, all that stuff. And basically, this is like, you know, a one day, one a serving for one day. You know, so you, you can package this stuff and then in the morning, like you say, when you're, on, you're running out of the house, you just grab your jar, put it in your bag and go. Well, that's a very healthy lunch. Yes. Great, thank you. Ready to uh, assemble our? Yes, um, so we already have our um, quinoa, guacamole, and tabbouli here. And now we are ready for the burrito. Yes, yes. All right. And, and along, well, I, as we put this together, you're going to see how quick and easy it is. Now, first, I'm going to slice this rib of the collard away so that uh, it becomes really easy to roll. Because we know with the burrito, we want to roll it up nice and easy, right? Yep. So if you don't have, um, well, you can use, I, I, I assume, any green leaf, you know. Well, I like the collard because mm -hmm. the collard is nice and flat. Mm -hmm. You know, you have different kinds of kale that have, like, really ruffly leaves and what have you, so you can't really roll it that well. But with the collard, you don't have that issue. So... We're going to take, we're going to add, let me break this off a little quick, and add some celery, a little bit of carrot, oh, and some sprouts. nice sprouts. These sprouts Which are interesting done. because this is a combination of um, lentils, fennel Greek, and 
chickpeas, and these are all organic from Ethiopia. I got them from the Ethiopian store, okay? So we're gonna add now some guacamole. guacamole. People that like a little kick, they can add um, cayenne pepper yes. or whatever yes. spice yes. to yeah. the guacamole, yep. I assume. And we're gonna add in our parsley salad here. And even if you like, you can add in some more of your tabbouleh, you know, or whatever else. You know, the thing, like I say, I like about burritos is that you can just put in anything. You know, a lot of people will put in, you know, some be refried beans or, you know, things like that. So now we just press it together and roll. Yeah, it goes. It, it, yeah, it, it, it stays on one piece. Yeah, I can it's see that. It's kind of kind of messy, but it really is pretty simple. One for you. Thank you. I'm gonna just take this out. I didn't get to slice it down as much as I would like. The flatter the knife, the easier it is to slice this. So sometimes I would use like um, a fillet, filleting knife mm -hmm. or a boning knife mm -hmm. to cut this. So you just roll. And one for me. Great, great. So before we dig into this healthy, delicious, colorful food, is there anything else that you want to add? Um, just a recap on the website. Um, good, good. www.internalfitnesstrainer.com. Um, go to the video links. You can you'll be able to see this video soon, correct? Yes. As well as the others, and uh, you know the book is available. Uh, the obesity myth you're not overweight you're over waste and then uh my new website um with my lovely wife beautifulnakedlife.com and you can begin to see uh my presence on uh, our presence on instagram at breathmaster a good good it's burrito time burrito time mm. In the African-American culture, we always, well, it's been tradition where we would cook our greens and we would cook them till they're like mushy. Some people cook greens for hours and hours and they throw in all kinds of animal parts, you know, um, neck bones, ham hock, all of this kind of stuff. And really, you, you know, you're doing a disservice to a fresh, awesome, cancer-fighting, oxygen-rich, nutrient-dense, fiber-rich food that really keeps the body young. So have it raw, have it in a burrito. If you're gonna cook it, steam it light, 10 to 15 minutes, add in some other stuff, you know, um, like maybe seaweed that's gonna increase the nutrient density. And you're talking about awesome, awesome food, vibrant, healthy life, pure, natural, holistic wellness. It is, it is. It's like absorbing the energy from the earth, from the sun, Yes. you know. Yes. To keep you younger. And, as the shirt says, may the vegan force be with you. Oh, yeah. This is the vegan <laughs> force. Hey, yes. Here it is. Yes. See? Where is the camera? Here it is. This is the vegan force. Look. And it's with us now. Yes. Well, thank you again for um, coming to our show. And I'm sure we will see you many, many more times here. Just one last more time. If the viewers wants, want to find more about you, what's your website again? www.internalfitnesstrainer.com and also www.beautifulnakedlife.com. And on the Beautiful Naked Life website, you also find out more about my wife and you know our evolutionary process, how we're changing and evolving and also bringing others forward with us. It's been said that the best gift you can give the world is a healthy you. Yes, and that's why we changed our name from Healthy Food, Happy You to Healthy You because that's our gift to you. So enjoy the food, enjoy your week. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you.